We're going to show how to assemble the new S4 starter kit and as well as to use the system. You'll need four components total. Three of them are pictured here, the fourth one being the seam sealer. You'll have our pneumatic gun, 41399, as well as the S4 starter kit, which is 06403. The starter kit comes with an atomization unit, as well as a bag of six tips. And you also have the instruction sheet included to go through the step-by-step -step instructions that we'll go through here. First thing that we'll do is attach the atomization unit to the pneumatic gun. Uh, you want to make sure that there is no fitting on the bottom of the gun, of course. And uh, as you screw it on, make sure this perpendicular unit is pointing in the same direction as the barrel of the gun. Um, hand tighten it to start. Then you just want to snug it up with a wrench. Once the S4 unit is hooked up to the pneumatic gun, the next step is to load the cartridge. You could use the S4 system with either a full body seam sealer, part number 97120 or the new bare metal seam sealer, part number 06398. Uh, the first step will be to attach the airline to the gun. Before we do so though, we'll want to make sure that the valve is in the off position, which is the vertical position. So we'll hook up the airline to the gun. We'll also want to make sure the button on the pneumatic gun is pointing toward reverse air. So when we pull the trigger, the plungers will go back. With the cartridge, just a simple flathead screwdriver. Pop that right off. Then you load the cartridge into the gun. Now that the cartridge is loaded, the first thing we'll want to do is move the button back to forward air. Then we'll want to purge a small amount of material out to make sure that both components are equalized. After purging the tube, the next step will be to put on the S4 mixing tip. Our tip is very unique in that it comes pre-assembled with the wing nut at the bottom as well as the tip attachment. We we'll just want to put the tip over top of the cartridge and tighten it on. Once the tip is on the gun, we'll want to take the elbow joint from the hose and attach it to the bottom of the tip. Just press it on and it's locked in. As you're going to spray the material, there's three things that can help adjust the pattern that you get. One is the air pressure at the valve, two is your distance from the surface, and you can also adjust how much material is coming out in the back. So what we'll do is we'll get this started. Get our air going. So with a lot less air pressure and very close to the surface, you can get a weld bead. Or turning up the air pressure higher and backing it off a little bit, you can get a more textured look covering a long, larger area. When you're done spraying, you'll want to move the valve back to the off position, which again is the vertical position. Um, to disconnect the, the elbow joint, you'll want to push down on it and push it off of the tip. Then you'll want to pick up the gun and push it back to reverse air. So that way as we pull the trigger, it'll pull the plungers back as opposed to gun out more material. We can leave the tip on for storage purposes and then disconnect the airline from the gun.